Hi everyone, welcome back to Old Time Rock and Roll. I'm your host David Tare, where I've been featuring my personal top 3,000 songs of the rock era from 1954 to 1999. Today I'm up to song number 2706, and that one is Remember the Time by Michael Jackson. This was released in 1992 as a single. I think it went to number three. And it was also released on his album called Dangerous, uh, which came out the previous year, 1991. And I guess first I'll talk about the song a little bit. I kind of like it. I mean, I think it's probably one of my, uh, you know, I, I don't know if I want to say it's one of my favorite songs by him. I'm not really all that crazy about him as an artist. I mean, yeah, he was a, he was a very talented musician. Nobody can question that. But, you know, I don't, I didn't really like him as a person. He was very strange. And, uh, you know, uh, I guess when he was popular, I wasn't that crazy about him either. I kind of grew to appreciate him more years later, you know. I thought he had too high a kind of falsetto voice and he did a lot of shrieking. And, you know, I just never knew what the big deal was with him. Even before I learned how much of a pervert he was, I, I didn't really like him that much in the early 80s. I never understood why Thriller was such a popular album. Uh, you know, I didn't even really like him that much uh, with Off the Wall. Um, I guess I liked him okay when he was with the Jackson 5. You know, I, I, I'm not that much younger than him. I was born in 1962. He was born in 1958, late in 58. So he was just a little over three years older than me. Um, here's a picture of him, by the way. This is after, I guess uh, by the 90s, he had bleached his skin white which I think looked pretty gross. I don't think he looked like a real Caucasian at all. I think he looked more like a, like the Phantom of the Opera or something. I don't know what he was trying to do. Just a very strange guy all around. I mean, he was pretty normal as a kid. See, that's the thing. That's why I didn't mind the Jackson 5 so much when, uh, you know, when they were a kid's band. Uh, you know, I, I realized he had a rough life. I mean, especially with his father. I heard his father, Joe Jackson, was pretty horrible. But, you know, um, I don't know. I mean, I think he kind of let his fame go to his head. And I think that happens to a lot of child stars, unfortunately. You know, a lot of them do end up getting kind of messed up. I know the same thing happened to Lizzie Lohan. I can think of several others. Winona Ryder, uh, River Phoenix. I mean... I don't think children in general are prepared to, you know, uh, handle uh, instant fame and fortune, you know. Um, I guess Shirley Temple took, turned out okay, but that was like, uh, you know, almost 100 years ago. I guess times have changed. And there are probably are some childhood stars that turn out okay. I mean, I shouldn't generalize about all this stuff. I just think it's pretty crazy what happened to Michael Jackson. But for whatever reason... He was, he was uh, you know, he's considered the king of pop. He was one of the most popular people in the world for, for a long time. And I guess I've already talked more about Michael Jackson than the song. Let me, let me just return to the song, uh, Remember the Time. Like I said, it's, it's one of the better of his songs, I think. I remember the video, and the video is really cool. I mean, the video even features Eddie Murphy, who I do like, by the way. Features Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy's supposed to be you know, a pharaoh in ancient Egypt, and they show uh, him along with his wife. I don't know who played his wife, but kind of remind me a little bit of Coming to America. In the movie Coming to America, he played a, you know, very powerful Indian prince of this fictitious, uh, not Indian, this very powerful prince of this fictitious African nation who decides to take a little trip to New York to find a, to find a wife, you know, a queen. Um, very entertaining movie, in case you haven't seen it. And he kind of reminded me of that role in the Remember the Time. He was a kind of wicked pharaoh. I guess they all were back then. And he was looking for an entertainer, and he has the first two executed because they're not, they're not entertaining enough. The first was a stick juggler, I guess, and the second was, uh, I don't remember. What, oh, the seven, second one did a little fire dance. And then finally, you know, uh, Michael Jackson comes out. He... He's a you know a real magician. He he you know he he uh, starts out as a bunch of um, bunch of um, insects, and then he turns himself into himself, and then he does this pretty amazing dance. And uh, 
you know, I guess Eddie Murphy liked him enough uh, that then he turned him back himself back into ants again. Uh, not a bad video, you know, and not a bad song. And I know that a lot of his, especially his more recent videos, I guess from the 80s and 90s, were all about a lot of supernatural stuff. Of course, everybody knows about his thriller video, which I'm not that crazy about, by the way. I never got into werewolves. Um, you know, everybody knows that he turns into a werewolf in that one. And also, they have the living dead. You know, they have all the all the corpses come out of the cemetery at the end. I'm just not into that. I'm not a horror fan. Okay, I mean, I know, I know a lot of you guys probably are. But, you know, I think Thriller for a long time was the number one video on MTV. I think eventually it got replaced by Sledgehammer by... Uh, by uh, Peter Gabriel, which I think is a much better video, by the way. A anyway, enough of that. You know, remember the time. It's a, it's a cool song, and it was a cool video. And, you know, whatever you think about Michael Jackson, you can't deny that he was incredibly talented. And maybe he deserved about a hundredth of the fame and fortune he got. I think that's just all I'll say about that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, rock on. Here's a little cartoon of Michael saying thanks. And I'll see you guys next time.